Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Brad Keselowski's Reese Martinsville win from 2019. As always, take a quick look at the box. As you can see, you have your generic race winner box here. Got Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series, got your winner sticker, got raced version and the checkered flag. Down the side, you got 2019 race winner, got a render of the car right there. 2019 Martinsville Speedway winner, standard finish. Main total 505 of these things, standard finish, got your winner sticker, the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. You, of course, have your 2019 race schedule on the back of the box, 2019 X Racing Collectibles, and you, of course, have your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. But anyways, let's get down to the car itself. A very nice looking scallop paint scheme. This, of course, does come with a few things. You have your little race winner sticker, and you have your race winner stat card. If you want to read that, said he dominated this race. He led all but 54 laps. This wasn't really that good of a Martinsville race, honestly. Like, you know, when you go to Martinsville, you expect a lot of drama and, you know, beating and banging and fun. And this was just like, Kislowski was just untouchable the whole race and like nothing happened. <laughs> Definitely not the best Martinsville race. Hopefully today is a little bit better than that. It also annoys me, this is the only way to get this paint scheme. He had to win in the draw tight Reese car just to get it made. Like, it got DNP'd last year, and that drove me insane. It's like, it's a nice car. The bright white with the, like, bright blue scallops looks amazing. How did this not get produced last year? Especially, it didn't get produced around the same time that stuff like his Alliance Truck Parts and Worth scallop cars that didn't change got produced. So, whatever. Anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Reese. You got Pennzoil, Ford Mustang, number two. Down the side, you got Draw Tight, you got Alliance Truck Parts and Snap-On down there, you got Miller Lite and Discount Tire in front of the rear wheel, you got Auto Trader and SKF on the C post, and on the B post, you got Ford, Reese, DXC Technology, PPG, Mazak, and Safety Clean. Got your two winner stickers up there. This has regular contingencies and such. This is around the time they stopped doing the NASCAR Heat logo. On the back, you got Reese, got number two, got the Michigan Ford license plate. You, of course, have Worth on the deck lid, and this is number 259. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood, which does not want to open, as per usual. On the other side of the hood, you got Reese and Powered by Ford. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Obviously, no deck lid. The roof flaps, of course, still do open. And there is the underside of the car if you want to see that. But now let's get down to the damage and stuff. This one really doesn't have that much. Like I said, he basically dominated the whole race and was untouchable. It has a little bit of damage, but most of it is just kind of, you know, a little bit of some dirt and some marks. You have a little bit of some red, white, and blue confetti on the car. You see the front is relatively clean, especially for Martinsville. See, so he does have a little bit of a mark on the right front right there where it looks like he did get into somebody. Looks like there's even a chip on the splitter. I don't think that's part of the damage. <laughs> but he probably moved somebody out of the way a little bit. Down the right side, got a little bit of a mark on the side skirt there. Some more dirt and grime. Got some rubber buildup. Maybe he did just ever so slightly touch the wall right there. Not sure. Got some nice brake dust. It's like orange brake and like black brake dust. Back bumper has a little few marks on it where it looks like he did get hit a couple times. The bulk of the damage is right here. I forgot if that was Chase Elliott or who that was, but somebody did, you know, really try to move him out of the way and just crumpled his left rear right up. Kind of surprised they didn't cut out this little black triangle here. Sometimes they cut out little pieces like that. And it would have been nice if they did just cut out one little triangle there. Would have made it look a little bit better. But only so much they can do with the decal damage. But that does not look bad at all. Down the left side, just have more dirt and grime. That's about it. Except this car isn't really damaged because he basically led the whole race. He didn't have to be in the middle of the pack and get beaten, banged around. Strangely enough, Kozlowski said he couldn't bring this car back. Like this week at Martinsville. They apparently changed some rule about something so this car was no longer legal, which sounds about right. Somebody like this dominates a race and they like immediately change the rules like, no, 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 none of that. No beating Chase Elliott. But then like, you know, Jugged Racing can dominate with the same cars for like, you know, the entire year and nobody seems to blink an eye. Whatever. <laughs> That's a whole rant for another day. But anyways, this is definitely a really nice race to win. Like I said, it's one of those that you, it's the only way you can get the race to win, or why I say that? It's the only way you can get the sponsor of this paint scheme is buying this race to win. Which are always just, you know, nice. It, it adds a little bit of something special to the race win. And usually these ones are the ones that get rare, quickie, quickie, 
Why can I not talk all of a sudden? Holy crap. <laughs> I do think this car has a chance to get rare. Just because it is, you know, the only way to get the paint seems something like his Daytona 5, not Daytona 500, July Daytona race. That was the only way to get the Detroit Genuine Parts car. I can see this being the same type of idea. If you want this card as a brand new release, you can get it right now. But anyways, I think that's your answer to all to say. This has been a review of Brad Keselowski's Reese Martinsville win from 2019. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.